Coming up on this week's Inside Louisiana Football, head coach Billy Napier sits down with us to talk to us about what the Cajuns did in the bye week, and he previews Mississippi State. We'll also have a look at the Cajuns' new look at the Cajun Walk, and we'll recap one of the biggest athletic events of the year, the Welcome Back Convocation. All that and more on Inside Louisiana Football. Pass over the middle, touchdown Louisiana. I'm head coach Billy Napier and you're watching Inside Louisiana Football. On the surface, a 49-17 season opening win over Grambling State might sound like the perfect way to start the Billy Napier era at Louisiana. But dig a little deeper and you'll find a coaching staff and roster full of players, anything but satisfied with that performance. Despite 556 yards of total offense and a record-breaking day from quarterback Andre Nunez, Coach Napier felt they lacked execution at times. Defensively, the Cajuns held the Tigers to 306 total yards of offense, but finished the game with no turnovers. And on special teams, Oklahoma transfer Kyle Fowle was a perfect 7 of 7 on PATs. But again, a lack of execution left a bitter taste after the win. Coach Napier described the situation as lots of room for improvement and lots of opportunities to learn. After four straight weeks of practices and the Grambling game, the Raging Cajuns got a much needed two day break and used it to recover and lock in on their schoolwork. But that rest was short lived as the Raging Cajuns went back to training camp mode on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. On Tuesday, the Cajuns put in a solid two hours of work with an emphasis on cleaning up issues in all three phases of the game. Wednesday's practice was another high rep two hour session with an emphasis on red zone work and third down situations. The Raging Cajuns then turned their attention to Mississippi State and finished the week with a shorter Thursday practice that featured work on goal line situations, the two minute drill and more emphasis on the Bulldogs. The Raging Cajuns hit the weight room one last time on Friday before getting Saturday off and returning to the practice field Sunday night. It's time for the sit down brought to you by Sonic, home of the Raging Cajun Cheeseburger. This is how we Sonic. Welcome back into Inside Louisiana Football. Darren Walker joined by head coach Billy Napier. And coach, I want to go back to the bye week. Uh, big win against Grambling. The guys got a couple of days off after that to kind of recover, get back to their schoolwork. But then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we got right back in the training camp mode, didn't we? <laughs> we did. We did. We, um, we didn't practice on Sunday. We ran and lift them. We reviewed the film with the players and as a staff. Monday's the play, uh, player's day off. We took Tuesday and Wednesday and really had training camp formatted practices where we work on a couple of our future opponents uh, just to introduce any new concepts that we may see. Uh, we turned the page to Mississippi State on Thursday. I thought two out of those three days we really worked well. I thought the first day back on Tuesday was just average. But uh, I like where our kids are at it, headed into the week. So let's go back to Grambling just for a bit. Um, just talk about what that day was like for you uh, being that it was your first game as head coach? Well, same routine, just from a different perspective. You know, you're seeing things from a head coach's perspective. Obviously, having been the play caller, having been a position coach, uh, familiar with the routine, we tried to use the same template that we used at places in the past. A little bit of a combination of the Alabama pre uh, game day combined with some of the things that we did at Arizona State. But, you know, just a game day staff meeting to cover. Uh, some final decisions that we had to make going into the game. Thought we did a really, uh, Eric Truel did a great job with our game day chapel. I uh, thought the Cajun walk was exceptional. Uh, it was great to see our young men uh, dressed uh, professionally. We certainly appreciate all the people that helped make that a success. Uh, and I know our players appreciated that as well. But in general, you know, once you get to the game, you know, there's lots to learn, but I thought that leading into the game, our operations staff did a great job with the routine. So I was happy with that part. So then on Friday, you yourself and your staff got to go out and do a little bit of recruiting. Um, I remember when you were hired, the day you were hired, we talked about how excited you were about being able to recruit this area. 
uh, now that you've had nine months to, to get out there and see some people, uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, I think that's one of the things that we've done really well. We've executed our recruiting plan. I think we've hired some really good people, not only the full-time coaches that do most of the recruiting and evaluating, but in-house. I think with William Peek there, Katie Turner, Josh Thompson, uh, these guys have done a great job for us. Uh, but in particular, locally and in the state of Louisiana, I think our staff's done a really good job. We've got about 17 commitments at this point. Majority of those young men are from Louisiana, and I think we'll continue to take that same approach in the future. Then on Saturday, uh, college football started, what, 11 o'clock in the morning and went past midnight. So what did, what did you make of that day? Did you watch any games, spend a time with family? Yeah, it was a good day. You know, I had a chance to hang out with the three little ones around the house. Uh, did watch some football. Uh, Allie had, me and her ran a few errands together when the boys were napping. Uh, but, you know, a little time on the grill, more football in the PM, and uh, really just enjoyed time with Allie and the kids. It was great. So now the bye week is, is past us, um, and now we have, what is it, 11 straight weeks of practicing games, uh, which I know you're a fan of. Uh, you've, you've addressed the, uh, the routine quite a bit in some of your press conferences, that game week routine. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's so important to, to have that? Well, I think players perform the best and your staff can really perform the best and be efficient when they know what to expect. This week will be the last week where our routine is a little bit non-traditional. We'll be able to flip the script next week. But this week here, the template we'll use will be very similar to what we use going into the Grambling game. So uh, I'm pleased with that. I think it's important that our players buy into the preparation. Uh, they've done that for the opener. And uh, I think that we've seen good preparation so far for this game. So here we are, uh, first road trip of the season, Mississippi State, a place that you're familiar with. Uh, and a lot of the staff members are familiar with. So how, do, how does that benefit you guys that you've been there before? Well, I think we know what to expect. And I think it's, you know, one of the things that's a little bit to our advantage is we have a team that played two SEC road opponents last year. So, you know, our guys won't be intimidated going in there. They've experienced some success if you look back to the first half against Texas A&M last year. So I think our guys will be anxious to compete, see how they measure up. Uh, and look forward to the challenge. Talk about the Bulldogs. Offensively, um, they look pretty good. Uh, Kylan Hill had a monster game against Kansas State this past week, but we all know that it starts with Fitzgerald. So just talk about him a little bit. Real danger with his legs. Yeah, really, I think it starts with their offensive line. They got a really veteran group. You know, four out of five are all coming back with double digit starts. Uh, obviously, Kylan Hill's off to a tremendous start, kind of an unknown going into the year. Uh, the quarterback played better uh, in the second game, obviously coming back off a of suspension. So new staff, you can see that they're getting a little bit better, getting the wrinkles ironed out each weekly. So, uh, But I'm excited to see what our young men can do, and we're certainly going to go in there uh, and give it our all. Defensively, their D-line is, is widely regarded as one of the deepest and, and best in the country. What do you see out of them? Yeah, they're a big physical group, you know, really a lot of mass inside, a lot of height and length on the edge. Um, you know, I think that they present a number of challenges for you, but, you know, that's one of the strengths of our team. I think our offensive line is uh, the strength of our team. I think we've got really good skill. It's going to be all about our preparation and our execution. I really believe that. What are you looking for as maybe the number one improvement from Grambling to Mississippi State? I think overall, just as a staff, we can improve some of our in-game processes, our communications, whether that be from the box downstairs, whether that be from uh, myself and the defense and special teams. I think we'll, we'll get better each week, and certainly most teams get to see the most improvement from week one to week two, and I think you'll see that be the case with our football team. Well, Coach, thanks a lot for uh, taking the time out of your day to join us coming up next on Inside Louisiana Football. So pleased to have you back, I'm ready for an outstanding year. Go Cajuns. What's up Cajun Nation? This is sophomore guard Cedric Russell. Last year we won 27 games and a title. This year we're coming for it all. So what I need y'all to do, if you had season tickets, I need you to renew them. If not, call and get you some. Now if y'all don't mind, you check me out.
you know, looking back at the impetus for moving forward with this program, I remember a conversation Coach Napier had, had at one of our events down in New Iberia, and a lady who all she could talk about was how much she was so impressed with the way the players had looked previously when they got dressed up for Cajun walk-in. Could he please bring that back? The wheels start running on it, and, he, and we realize that this is an opportunity for our guys to not just present themselves in a business-like manner. Uh, after all, you know that's what this is about. This is about conducting what you do on the field and off the field like a business. That's very true, and it plays into the psychological part of the game. You know, it's easy to come dressed in sweats and warm ups, but when you come in a suit, that's strictly business. You know, when do you put on a suit? A business interview. You know, maybe a funeral. Okay, so it's time to go bury the opponent. A guy who's a freshman who shows up here for the first time this year, in five years when he graduates. Not only will he have an incredible wardrobe to be able to go out and get a job and to be able to interview for that job, but he'll be comfortable wearing that suit. He'll, he'll really understand there's a process by which a person begins a professional career, and that process includes changing who you are, changing that not just, not just physical image, which we're doing with the suits, but also there's a mental aspect of that where you put childish things away. And when you put that suit on, there's something that, that happens to, to all college students. So these guys will leave here uh, more prepared for the professional world and life after football. Good evening, and welcome to the annual Welcome Back Convocation. I'm honored to be your Student Athlete Advisory Committee President and co-host for this evening. Tonight, we recognize the accomplishments of Raging Cajun staff, coaches, and student athletes, both on and off the field of play. This is a great event that they put on every year for all the student athletes. I think it's so special that they take the time to recognize us, especially considering that we put so much time and effort into our sports collectively that to be here with all of our peers and to have our coaches um, and our family and friends and as well as the athletic staff here um, just kind of get praising us for all of the hard work that we put in. Um, I just think it's so special that they take the time to do this for us every year. Um, and it always turns out a really great event. Uh, this is probably my favorite event of the year because this is the one day that we get every single student athlete from every sport in the same building at one time. And it's, it, you see some faces that you might not ever see for the rest of the year again. So to see them now and to see them get recognized is actually really awesome. And that's really what we want you to be. Not only outstanding athletes, we want you to be outstanding students, we want you to be outstanding citizens. All those things are important to your growth and to your future. They're also important to the university, the university's growth and future. And they're important to this community because you're role models for young people coming up. You're role models and you represent the university and the public and what you do represents what people think about the university. So you're not just a student athlete. You're a representative, you're an ambassador, you're a diplomat, and we want you to be successful on the playing surface, in the classroom, and in the community. I'm so pleased to have you back. We're ready for an outstanding year. Go Cajuns. The night was awesome. It's always great to see everyone in a different environment, all dressed up, um, and to see that everyone's hard work is paying off. So it's really an amazing night. Every year it's so awesome to get to see everyone's accomplishments over the course of the school year. Um, we don't really get to go to all the sporting events, so it's really cool to take a look back and see everyone doing good things. Uh, this is my last one, so it's a little bittersweet, but I got to come to five, so I guess it's okay. It's a really good event. I think it helps us like to maybe get to know each other better as a team, since like I only know my teammates for a week or like a week now. So I think we get together, have fun, go and meet the other student athletes. 
and just take pictures together. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> Post them on social media. <laughs> it's really awesome that we can all come together and then all like share like at this moment and recognize everyone about the awards and everything. It's really fun. You know, tonight's about celebrating the accomplishments of our student athletes. You know, whether it's in the classroom, in the community, or in the uh, competitive arena, a great opportunity to acknowledge all the accolades that they've received and certainly it's a time for us to not only welcome them back but to say thank you. Thank you for everything that they have done in this past year and what they're going to do moving forward. But uh, you know it's fun to see them get all dressed up, it's fun to see them you know come together you know as one athletics uh, program, one team if you will. Uh, but again a very uh, a worthy evening of celebration. If you one foot out and one foot in, you're not going to want to be here. You got to be all the way committed, and that's what I love about the coach. I'm head coach Billy Napier, and you're watching Inside Louisiana Football. My name is Corey Turner. I'm a senior from New Orleans, Louisiana. Safety. My name is Robert Hunt. I'm a junior from Burkeville, Texas. I play right tackle. I'm Deuce Wallace, redshirt junior, and I am a defensive back. It's an exciting day for the University of Louisiana as we begin the next chapter of success for Ragin' Cajuns football. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a true Cajun welcome to our head football coach, Billy Napier. I can't tell you how honored and excited I am to be the head football coach here at the University of Louisiana. He's a calm guy, but, but you know he means business. They came in. I can tell them about business. I can tell that Coach Sell meant business. Coach Looney meant business. Coach Napier, he was trying to do great things for us. You know, man, that's, that's, that's the kind of guy I want to fight for or play for, you know. To our fans and supporters and boosters, any and everybody that loves this university and this football program, I think it's important you know that I look forward and take serious taking on this challenge here at the University of Louisiana. The past couple of years, we, we've been... I mean, we've been soft, you know, but we didn't know it. And I think that's the scarier part. When you think you're good and you think you're mentally tough and you're not, that's, that's a predicament, man. That's a bad situation to be in. What type of football team do we want to have here? We're going to start everything that we do totally about what we control. We're going to be physical in our approach. Y'all ready? The first part of the off-season training when Coach just got here in January, it was the identity phase. The identity phase is simply, I mean, in of itself, trying to find our identity. And it is continuous running, continuous drill work, and it's non-stop, there's no break. It's trying to see who you are. So it's trying to see who Robert Hunt was, you know? And it really just tested you and your character. I mean, it was tough for a lot of guys on the team, but we got through it together. I think it was like a, like a sigh of relief, because after identity, we knew we were getting ready to be some animals, because that was the first time we ever pushed our bodies to that limit every day. Every choice, every decision, every habit, we begin with the ending in mind and that is to be a champion. 
the uh, regiment, man, we, we pop it up early in the morning, every day, like 6 o'clock in the morning. The hill runs are tough, man, but we get through it. Like, like hockey, he's an intense guy. He's going to motivate you and push you through. Nobody's safe! Nobody's safe! Let the games begin! We're going to be in great condition. We're going to be known for how hard we play. I think everybody's starting to buy in and believe what's going on here. If we can be. Hey, bring that same energy to the OTA. Let's go. One, go, three. One, two, three. One. Oh. Simply put, we want to be a team that teams dread to play. If you one foot out and one foot in, you're not going to want to be here. You got to be all the way committed, and that's what I love about the coach. We will have elite toughness here. We will have elite work ethic here. And we will operate with class in everything that we do. I think the biggest shift is simply the mindset. Because if you compare us now to last year, two years ago, three years ago, our mental toughness is on a whole nother level. Great day, boy! Great day! It ain't fair, buddy. For us, baby. And we're gonna get it. We're gonna take it. It ain't fair, buddy. You know it, baby. Go Cajun. Hey, let's get the day started, bro. Hey, today's our best day. Y'all just don't know it, man. Hey, offense, give me this. Give me this. Oh! Hey, hey D, 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 Damn paradise, baby. You hear me? Boom! We almost here! It's game week. This is what we live for right here. We were super excited to play and it showed off. Like it, it paid off. We put in so much work in the summer, man. There was no other outcome to that game but to get a win. Pass over the middle. Touchdown, Louisiana. Jamarcus Bradley for the touchdown. Barnes to the five. Barnes is in. That, was, that felt good. It felt really good. You know, it's hard to see from the outside, but when you're in it, you know that that wasn't good enough. We had a lot of miscues in the past game that the other team didn't take advantage of. I guarantee Mississippi State will take advantage of any miscues that we have. They're the type of team that they execute 80% of the time. That's rare. That's, that's, a, that's a very good football team. So we have to be ready to execute 80 to 90% of the time. 